Are you the one that is trying to manifest something? Is your desired reality completely opposite to your current reality? Or do you feel demotivated when you haven't noticed any changes in your reality? If these are the scenarios that you are facing, then this video would be extremely helpful to you. I would share with you an example that would strike you whenever you feel demotivated on your manifestation journey and persist in the state of wish fulfillment. So, you are manifesting something and it is completely opposite to your desired reality, and as a result, you sometimes feel demotivated because there is no significant movement that stops you from moving forward. This happens to lots of people, and it is a very natural thing. Even before you knew about conscious manifestation, you too may have encountered scenarios where you had set some goals and, even after trying for several days, things were not happening. When you start following a fat loss diet, and you start working out, days pass and you don't notice any significant results. That makes you demotivated. But, when manifesting a desire, you hear another YouTube channel say that there is always a movement. Well, they are right, there is a movement. You don't notice it because there are countless assumptions that are holding you back when manifesting something completely opposite. When you look at it logically, something seems to be easy to manifest, while others seem to be difficult. Some take time, while others happen instantly. All of this happens because you are dealing with two completely different concepts of yourself. Suppose, for Elon Musk, it is extremely easy to manifest a billion dollars because his net worth amounts to around $248 billion. While for you and me, it may seem extremely difficult to manifest a billion dollars, as we don't have any such evidence directly related to a billion dollars. So, for some of you, making an assumption of having a billion dollars would be a difficult task as compared to having $10,000. It would be so because when you affirm, for a billion dollars, and you notice that you are living in a rented apartment, it feels like a lie, which is natural for everyone. When you do so, your subconscious might present some ideas that may seem too fairytale for you, and you don't proceed with them because you never did it earlier. On the other hand, affirming for $10,000 seems easy because many people have $10,000 and are living in rented apartments. You might receive ideas that are familiar to you, and thus $10,000 is manifested easily. I hope you get my point now. So, when making 180 degree changes, it may feel like a lie, it may make you feel demotivated, but it does not mean that it is impossible. Let me give you an example that relates to your situation. It goes along so well that next time you start feeling demotivated, this example will take you out of those scenarios. Some of you have heard this story. It is a story about a stone cutter who wanted to split a big rock. He started using his hammer and he started to hit the rock. He did it, but he didn't notice any scratches. Upon hitting again and again, not even a single scratch appeared. He kept doing it. The people who saw him laughed at him because they didn't see any results. But, the stone cutter was persistent and focused on his work. He was aware that even though he could not notice any immediate effects of his actions, he was still making progress, and he continued with his work. After almost 700 strikes, the rock split in half due to the constant pressure applied to it. So, what did you learn from this story? You are a stone cutter who is using a hammer, which is your affirmations. Cutting a stone would refer to building a new self-concept. Hitting the stone again and again would refer to repetition. People's laughter could be seen as the current limitations. Just like a stone cutter was persistent in his actions that seemed almost impossible for people. You must stay persistent while repeating your affirmations even when you notice things that are completely opposite or when you notice your current limitations. Some of your desires would be like big rocks, some of them would be like nails, while others would be like glass. Some would require less damage, while others would require more. In the same manner, some of your desires would be manifested with fewer repetitions while others would take some time. Also, the number of times you have to repeat an affirmation would be different and cannot be calculated by me or by others, but a general rule of thumb says that repeating an affirmation 10,000 times would give you significant results. Just be persistent even though there is no movement because things are happening that you cannot see yet. Like the constant pressure made it split in half, your constant affirmation is making the changes that are beyond your thinking. God is making it happen. There are many people out there who are creating certain circumstances for you that are making your desires come true in the shortest time possible. Some people find it difficult to accept that there is a movement because they have never examined themselves or attempted to relate things in a positive light. When the seasons are changing and days are passing, the earth is revolving in orbit around the sun. Then, things will also move in your favor. Don't keep on saying that I repeated my affirmations for two minutes, and there was no change. Next time you start affirming, just put a timer on. You will notice that after one minute you stop affirming. Well, this happens. This is what you need to change. Increase the time to 10 minutes and you will notice lasting results. Repeat it three times a day and you are good to go. So, I hope this video gave you the clarity you needed.
Comment, now I know it. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more such videos. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.